boards. Brown scoots it away, and right there is Fleet Check. He gets a uh, check in the boards. As there's a couple whales, a couple demons trying to figure out. Brown lets it go! That's the first goal of the game as he quickly shoves it out. 1 0 Dayton. That's a power play goal for the Dayton Demons, who on the season scored about 23% of their power plays. I, I believe that's going to be the longest scoring drought uh, season. And definitely here at Hare Arena, no less. But all oh, that is they drop that one in, and it puts us up one to nothing. Brown was on the left side of the goalie crease, didn't see it heading back towards the right side, and the Demons lead one to nothing. Player down, they'll take the puck out of the defending zone. Dayton Bill, and it's Mothers. Mothers had a hat trick last night. He wants another goal here. He wants to tie it up, and it's in for number 61 in Marcus Pride. We're tied at two. For Pride, that's his ninth goal as a Dayton Demon, along with his seven assists. We're tied up at two. I tell you what, Mothloos is having one of those weeks, man. He's a superb player. Miller is back into the game. Kelly Miller is back into the game for the Whalers. He didn't get a jack, he got a 10 game, 10 minute game get misconduct. Yesterday, Felton and Brown kind of got into it. And there is the third goal for the Demons. Three to two, Dayton. And it's four, number 10 shot. And Brown closes up shot. There's a monster check by the shoulders of Ronsberg. And there's a down whaler. There's a goal! That's going to be a goal for number 10, Lucas Shot, unless they wave it off. And there's a fight. Bassano knocks down a demon very quickly with a couple of right handed punches. Down on the ice is Brandon Taylor. We'll see if the goal stands. The lamps did light. And so I believe that will be shot with a goal. And it's going to be Bassano in the box victim, Seth Ronsberg. Monstrous fight, we'll see if that goal counts as Brown continues to bounce the puck around with a stick. After that goal, a fight quickly broke out, Bassano right there. Check leaving it behind. It's Felton near side. He watches the Augustinos every move. They'll hand it back outside the Mets. Mets, a couple feet away from the slot. It's now back to Flea Check. Flea Check with two uh, defenders in his face. It's right to Hill, trying to jam it in. Brown doesn't know where the puck is, and it's in! Brown is not happy. He's kicking it up like he's jamming it out to his air guitar. Not happy at all. Brown, not too happy. He's he looked like he was trying to go after one of the demons, but nevertheless, that's a power play goal. Brown, very, very displeased. We're tied at four. They, the demons jammed Brown's crease. A couple missed shots. Brown didn't know where it was. It turned out it was right in front of him to the left, and the demons dump it in. They tie the game up at four. Demons now with it, neutral zone, two whalers in front of Mafus. he'll cut, he'll pass it up, Brown can't reach it, and dumping it in is Peter Satella, five to four, Dayton! Peter Satella gets it to the left of Brown, Brown on one knee, he's on his right knee, he got beat by Satella, he dumps it in the right side of the net, five to four, your score, 
And Satala picks up his second goal as a demon. Five to four demons. That lead back again, and it's shot moving down the zone. Brown will go to the other side. Peyton sets up shop. Marks with a shot, it's wide, and putting it back in is Fleet Check, six to five. Fleet Check picks up the puck of his rolling around the boards, dumps it in when Brown was distracted. Six to five, your score. Be a face off to the left, and we got a fight. Frazier goes to the Dayton bench, tries to fight with Mafus. There's a glove that's thrown. Frazier went to the Dayton bench, trying to fight with, I believe, Mafus. Frazier still mouthing off. He's got a linesman holding him back, and the big man Frazier still skating backwards, still mouthing off, and he's now getting his healthy dose of Dayton cheers. Frazier heads back into the penalty box. He's in there for a couple of minutes. Ayer's still around the Dayton bench, but he's not going to pull anything. He's just got two hockey sticks. He'll pick up Frazier's gloves. Both of these games have been very very elevated, shall we say. No loss, lo no lost love between these two squads, that's for sure. Referee's talking it over. Frazier's still in the box, still mouthing off with Mafus. Mafus went back on the bench, and Frazier just started throwing punches when Mafus was looked like he was sitting down. Didn't exactly see what all happened. Just saw that the puck was stopped as Rose continues to skate around. Brown stationary in his crease. I tell you, this has been a treat to call here on the Ohio Sports Radio Network as Bradshaw still talking over with the official score tonight. It's going to be Hill scooting on the near side. He's got four whalers in front of him, two to his left, two to his right. There's Metz, he'll pass it back to Hill. Hill, right at Brown, and it's, and it's in! Hill with and we got a fight! We got a fight! It's going to be Miller taking on a down demon. That was Fleetcheck. Miller just pounced right on Fleetcheck's back, and Fleetcheck is hurt. He's slow to get up, but Miller puts a pound on it as Hill towards the seventh goal on the night for Dayton, seven to five. Miller's still trying to fight past the linesman. No love lost between these two squads, that's for sure. Still a little bit of shoveling going on. Howerly wants to get in on that fight for Danbury. Miller's still holding on. Fans hanging over the glass. They're going to give Miller an earful. Yeah, I think he's going to be gone. He's done for the game. Miller's going to have a seat on the box. Nope. He's going to bypass the box. He's out of here. Miller being escorted as he jumped on Listen the to this crowd, people. Miller escorted out of here. Flea Jack still getting heck. Miller escorted out for the second time tonight. Brown has allowed seven goals tonight, seven to five. Dayton Demons. Yeah, right after that goal by Hill, it just went over the left shoulder of Brown into the net. And as soon as those goal horns go off, Miller just pounces on him. And Miller, he's not the biggest man on the squad. He's actually 5'11", but right. I tell you, that's 175 pounds of muscle going at you. And Fleetcheck was down 
is back up in the air. He was down the ice. Five minutes put on the board. That's a major penalty. Both teams with 40 shots on goal as Metz gets an assist. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Hill and Metz came up big, and uh, Fleacek just happened to get checked in the back of the head. Uh, he got up, you know, he said, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to have none of this. You know, we can go at it all night long. But look at the score, buddy. Look at the score. That's all he had to say was, who's winning this game? Remember, you still got three minutes, and Danbury has shown. They, they, they've shown that they can put up the score. But I'm going to tell you right now, this, t this Dayton team is not going to allow it. They want this 10 games. And Mafu scores! That's, that's a goal for the How Dayton. about that, ladies and gentlemen? Nick Petriello puts it in past Brown. Eight to five, Dayton. I tell you what, fans, this Dayton team, if you haven't come out and watched a Dayton Demons game, you got to be here. This is one awesome team. Wow. I'll tell you what, Lee, have you seen a hockey team this special? I can't say that I have. I really can't say I have. I saw a lot of good hockey teams. I don't think as good as Petriello with the goal. That's his fourth on the season, eight to five, Demons.